In this lesson, we're going to set up iTunes to be your music library management app. Though some DJs prefer to just use Serato DJ Lite alone to manage the music library, using iTunes in tandem with Serato DJ Lite is one of the best ways to keep your library organized. And I'll explain why later in this lesson. I'll show you which settings to turn on and to turn off in order to get the most out of iTunes. Let's go! iTunes is the best app to organize your music because it's an all-in-one solution. You can sort and edit your tracks, create playlists, and keep them organized within folders. Plus, you can even purchase music in the iTunes store. The best reason to use it, though, is because iTunes can be set to automatically make a copy of and to organize all your music files within a single folder, known as an iTunes media folder. That means you'll no longer have MP3s littered around your hard drive's downloads folder or desktop that may be accidentally deleted. I've been guilty of this so many times in the past, and having discovered this system a few years back, it's just made my life so much easier. So. Before you go on with this video, make sure you've got iTunes installed on your laptop. If not, download it on the iTunes site via this link that you see on screen. Right, so in order to use iTunes in our DJing, we need to turn on some features that are useful to us and turn off those that aren't. Let's fire up iTunes, which you'll find in your Applications folder or on your desktop. I'm just going to go to my Applications, and then go to iTunes, click on that, and launch it. Now, I'm going to go to Preferences. Here we are. Now, check General and make sure that Star Ratings is ticked. This lets you rate a track by energy level. For example, one star is a soothing ambient soundscape, while five stars is an all-out belter. Now, I know the way we use star ratings here is a bit unusual, but there's a good reason for that. You should keep your DJ music library lean and mean, meaning you should believe that every track in it is awesome. So having 1 to 5 star ratings is unnecessary since, well, they're all good tracks anyway. And the ratings can be better used for energy levels because ultimately, it makes it easier for you to pick songs to play during DJ sets. For example, you can warm up the dance floor with tracks that have fewer stars than peak time bangers that have 5 stars. Now, go to the Advanced tab over here and make sure that Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized is not ticked. This tells iTunes not to add any destructive file renaming and folder adding, which we don't want. What you do want to be ticked is the Copy Files to iTunes Media Folder. This basically gives you the single large folder with all your tunes that we were talking about earlier. You'll also want Share iTunes Library XML with other applications to be ticked. This allows other software like Serato DJ to read your iTunes library. If this isn't ticked, you won't see your iTunes library within Serato DJ Lite. Once you've made those changes, click OK and you're good to go. I just showed you how to set up iTunes. Now I want you to go and make those settings changes in your own copy of iTunes. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to create playlists both in iTunes and in Serato DJ Lite. That way you can choose and use whichever music management method you prefer.